of his eye. Sit right down, we're gonna give you the scoop with Ryan Pfeiffer and Lisa Doop. Stammer, lemma, ding dong, loop de loop. This is the story of a guy named Mr. Boop. You're listening to Being Mr. Boop. It's on like Donkey Kong, so let's go like Don Pardo. My name is Ryan Pfeiffer, and I am Mr. Boop. Remember that one? Yeah, remember the remember, remember the uh, Donkey Kong or or wait, which what was it? It was oh the con- the Pardo. the Conk Ronk or Pardo Grind uh, quiz <laughs> segment, <laughs> which we never finished. A long, a long we didn't continue, segment. and we will not be doing a bonus episode about at the end of this season like we did for the other two. So, sorry, no, no, no uh, being Mr. Nope. Thrill Volume Three. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, we could pre- we could we could pretend like we did one. That would be fun. Um, like we did a get we li- we did a quiz segment this season, and then, you know. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed our our being Mister Drill Volume Three. This is a fun. Yeah, this is a fun bit, that. Lisa. <laughs> what is it? Not a fun <laughs> bit. I meant like. Well, I, did, I, did, did, I love we, how the bit is just. We did that. <laughs> no, 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 no. The bit would be we record a podcast for being Mr. Frill Volume Three, but we, we just make up stuff about the um, whatever Mr. Frill Volume Three would have been, which was nothing. Like we just. But it like, was. You know. We did we because we did start one, and we just didn't do it yeah, because we, it was bad. And we and 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 the second <laughs> volume was bad also. <laughs> and the first volume was okay, reference. but the bit has long the 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 segment has long overstayed its welcome, <laughs> just like RoboHop Corner. Uh, tune in to Being Jim Davis to for your weekly RoboCop synopsis. Okay, my name is Lisa, and I'm Mr. There you go, Lisa. <laughs> it's Thursday, say. September tenth, two thousand twenty. We're. <laughs> Getting close. Today we're reading the 167th ever Mr. Boop strip. What happens in today's Mr. Boop? In today's Mr. Boop, the end. You've Pretty been listening to Being Mr. Right Boop. Before, convenient that it ends right before 9 11. We're not going to get a 9 11 strip? Wait. Not. A we're while. not going to get it. We're not gonna get a 9/11 zip show seriously. Yeah, you skipped it out. There goes all my fucking jokes. Yeah, you gotta throw away that material now. God damn it! I wrote like just five like, pages on this out, shit. Just cross out the word 9/11 and replace it with replace it with 9/10. <laughs> Oh, you hear about that? The, yeah, you the hear, you hear about this nine ten? Yeah, it's true. It's true. It, uh, terrorists are planning to uh, crash into the World <laughs> Trade Center. It's, it's true, it's true. Jay, how did how Jay, did you hear what, about this? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you? Ah, <laughs> oh, you're so silly, Jay Leno. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> like that could ever happen in America. You're about a Jay. Armor. Jay, you silly, silly man. Uh, that was an ongoing event. What? Hurricane Katrina? Uh, um, oh, I was going to say, more like Hurricane Tortilla. Uh, there's four panels here. Oh, also, shadow synopsis. Uh, it says Mr. Mr. Boop, number 167, which is significant because yes. the last one, the last strip, which was Mr. Boop, number 166, it says Mr. Boop, even though the title... On the strip says Mr. Mr. Boop, which it also says on this one. You probably, you probably got a talking to from his lawyer. True, true. Uh, you can't keep you calling can't, that. No, 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 you can't. Don't know why. But, uh, okay. Um, it says mm-hmm. we aren't quite done so, yet. There is still one final chapter coming your way. This time, it will all be set entirely in the real world. No more lies. See you in book four, the final arc. That's. See you in book four after this strip. He's really, he's really spelling it out. Lisa, what's the shadow synopsis? The secondary shadow synopsis. All right, we're we're back on track. 
Book four will probably begin next week, unless I feel like taking a little break. Also, Which he make didn't sure this you, time. you watch. Spoiler alert. No, he said. Make sure you watch this very special video that many fans, many Mr. Boot fans came together to help create. You know, I think when I first watched it, even though I knew there were definitely some famous people in it Rachel Bloom, Justin, McElroy. I think I did somehow think it was like a lot of them were fans, but look, looking back after we did that analysis, mm -hmm. it's it, like um, very clearly all people he knows. Mm -hmm. Like you said, they're all LA types, and yeah, then also the smile nice. from me does. Um, mm -hmm. So go check that that bonus episode if you want to hear us describe that. Uh, so we have Mr. Mr. Boop here, even though he is not mm. in this strip. What we see instead, no. in There's panel no one, we see the there unnamed goes. Italian girl. Yeah. Um, how mysterious. <laughs> Ooh. No. Um, what the hell? That's what she's thinking. She's got a thought level that says, yeah. what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> she, just, she just sounds like she, angry Tim Robinson. What the hell? And then the other thought bubble says, I thought we all knew it was supposed to be a joke. Or is this just another layer of irony? Electoral yeah. heart. There were two. Oh, did I say electoral heart? The other speech bubble had two electoral hearts. Mm -hmm. It's the same room. Oh, as you know what? Is this what you're talking about? Mm. What? what you were the the the, the kind of the commentary you were saying that I didn't quite understand. It feels like this is what she's talking about right now. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But it's I like, yeah, I don't know if it was know. if it was really a subtext until now. I think it was pretty the the apology video, the, the like the the strip club thing was. It was pretty heavy-handed in that, to me. To me, but, and I think this is where, where we di where our, our view differs on a lot of it. It feels, uh, maybe this is just how I read things in general. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but when I look at that sort of stuff, I mean, I guess because it's so spelled out here. And the other one, I just read it like. It's just nonsensical and silly. At face value, it's yeah. just nonsensical. That's how that's how I that's how I look at it. It's not like a subtext, a like, or like, there's not a level of thought put into it where it's like, yeah, it's silly because it's it does it's it does I, they they they're acting like it's real, but obviously it wasn't, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, to, to to me, when I look at it, there's not that level of thought put into it. There's just like mm -hmm. it's just silly. Yeah, but you you seem to you you I, read into I, it more like there's like a specific. There's a method to the madness, you know. I'm not saying there's not a method, the, the, but yeah. I don't. Uh, yeah. The level of thought you spell out does not feel it does not read to me like is put into it. That's yeah, that's that's possible. I think that the um, what's it called? Not that there's not thought. I put used into to, it, but it's more like I. Yeah. I don't know. The first thing I really felt, I because I used to obviously be like, oh, it's it, nothing has any meaning, you know, mm, life. Back when I was young, N not even <laughs> yet, like, life, blah blah. It's funny because you're then younger I than saw me. The, yeah, then I saw the movie Eraserhead, <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? I was like, because it was, it all just appears to be like random imagery, but then I just kept on rewatching it. I was like, oh, there's a metaphor here, and it's sort of like program my brain to read well like <laughs> I it's interesting what you're saying because I definitely for some things like that some things like eraser head I, I will look at a thing and just be like oh, that was weird <laughs> anyway um, I don't know if I would do that with eraser head specifically because I know Lynch mm -hmm. is like have you seen it? No. But I know that Lynch Very isn't weird. just, like, just doing whatever, because whatever. Mm -hmm. um, 
Uh, I don't think I've seen anything by David Lynch, actually, besides the first season of Twin it's, Peaks. It's the only thing by him I've seen. I don't I did not think the first season of Twin Peaks was very interesting, in my opinion. Mm. I like Ray Wise, though. Interesting. Ray Wise is, Ray Wise is always fun. Um... Uh, but so there are certain things that are like so I mean I don't know first thing that comes to mind uh, the movie Kuso uh, have you heard of that movie it's no. um I don't know if it's co-directed or just co-written or what it, it, David Firth worked on it you know David Firth uh-huh. who I don't I, I, wait, let me look him up on Wikipedia. I'm just gonna. I don't. Uh, I think he's. Is he a cricket player? Are you doing a bit? Yeah. You didn't he didn't he have the thing where he was? Isn't he race? Isn't he salad fingers yes. man? Yes. Were you? Yeah. That's why I said I'm gonna look him up on Wikipedia. Why? Oh. Oh say, right. Wait. Yeah. Of it. course. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait, is his page removed because it wasn't uh, relevant enough? Was that right? Yeah, well, Jesus no, Christ. Um, now David now David Frith redirects to a cricket player. Oh my god. Okay. Um <laughs> So that's a that's a weird movie cuz it's it's just a lot of weird shit happening. I don't know what what the point mm-hmm. of any of it is. Um Uh I guess Titan is another fucked up weird movie I've seen. That one I didn't I mean, obviously, okay. So and I feel like any movie pretty much any movie that's not just a straight up comedy there's gonna be like a, a, a purpose to it there's gonna be like mm-hmm. if it's not just weird for no reason a message behind it yeah unless it's maybe like a horror movie then maybe I won't read into it even mm-hmm. I mean some some horror movies ha- ha- yeah you know, I think a lot of horror, horror movies, movies yeah. um but but a lot of the time I, I, I mean I'll just be like they're just trying to be scary there Mm-hmm. Boogity boogity boogity. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> you seen the boogity man? The you mean Mr. Boogity? Yeah. Have you Mr. seen Mr. Boogity? Boogity? No, I haven't. Have you seen Mrs. It's boogity? It's so funny. <laughs> Is that real? I'm what? pretty sure there's a se- there's a sequel called Mrs. Boogity. Is that is it better than American Psycho Two? Um, oh, it's called Bride of Boogity. Bride of Boogity. <laughs> That's great. It's amazing. Do you know about American Psycho 2? Uh, yeah. It doesn't have a subtitle. It's called an Amer- All American Girl. Oh yeah. American Psycho 2. All American. They should have called it uh, That Seventy Psycho. Exactly. It's unrelated. They should have called it uh, Psychotic Moms. <laughs> a Psychotic Moms Christmas. It's starring Mila Kunis. Is the joke. Um, I couldn't even tell you if it was. If it mentions American Psycho. I'm pretty sure Mila Kunis is in the first movie, right? I think. Maybe I'm thinking of a different... I might be thinking of uh, the... Cause I, I, I might be about, thinking I of the Donnie the, Darko about, sequel. It was... Because I know that it was... Um, it wasn't originally an American Psycho okay. sequel. But they added in post a bunch oh. of American Psycho. I'm well. probably thinking of S. Darko then. Um... I know one of those movies that just had like someone from the original, or, or, or one of the. It was like a, a minor character from the original movie, and just based around mm-hmm. that. Yeah, I think I'm thinking. Of, I like think I'm Batman thinking of Starko. Like the Batman '90s films, how the only recurring characters in all of those is Alfred and Commissioner Gordon. Well, the, that's different because that's still, those are the actors, but the characters are still the main characters remain the same. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not talking about actors. I'm talking about literally the 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 mm-hmm. character that the actor that stayed consistent became the main character. It'd be like if uh, Bat- Batman and Robin, uh, or Batman. It, it'd be like if Batman Forever ended up being about Commissioner Gordon because he was the only mm-hmm. actor that stayed on, or Alfred. Um. But. I don't know. What was my point about the uh, the weird stuff? <laughs> it's the Batman theme. You don't you you don't read subtext into. But I do. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, what was my point? God, you drink my coffee. Maybe it will. Start describing the panel. Oh wait. Um. Okay. Um. Is this a flapper shot? No. Debatable. I I I wouldn't dare say. Um. You're the one who always so has an issue with me saying it. I, that, yeah, I know, because I'm, I'm cautious about it. That's why I'm not saying it's a good sign. Um, Don't want to step on any toes. So it's her room. Remember the room from the last finale? It's like that. There's a, there's a potted plant, there's a computer mm -hmm. desk, True. there's a keyboard, there's, there's, yeah. And only thing is last strip. And we already read the dialogue in this one. And that's where the discussion came from. What the hell? I thought we were all we all knew it was supposed to be a joke, or is this just another layer of irony? And then in panel two, you could argue that this is the flapper shot. Yes, this is the flapper shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is the flapper shot. Head-on view of this mm -hmm. woman. Did we see her face before? I feel like we probably did. Yes. She turned around. She looks the same. To talk to her, no one now. Do we have a name for her? Um, not yet. Um, we call her Italian girl, but you know. Um. Um. Real. We don't need to give a name. For woman. Me. Real woman. Ray. Uh, short. Short for rail. Re she's rail. Um, she's kind of looking over in, in thought, she's like looking to the top uh, right. She's looking up and to the right, but just like she's looking away in thought, basically. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah. And she's got two mm. thought bubbles. The Look first one says, So now he's done making the comic? Two electoral hearts. And the second one says, I can't believe I even got sucked into it. I guess it's it's commenting on the like the the non ending of it all. Of just if this was really the ending, it would just be like, Well, I guess it's over. Well you this know, is strange, isn't it? Because conclusion. we know yeah. the next chapter will be about making or that it'll be about the real world. So the comic does continue, oh, yeah. but in the world of the comic, it, oh, which is the real world, it does not continue. So it's kind of contradictory. It's Yeah, it isn't it interesting. Maybe she's just looking at the... I don't know. Huh. Yeah. Oh. Maybe she's just reading it on MrBoop.com and she's not seeing the... <laughs> But Ned, I mean, and she's not seeing the Twitter caption. She should have been listening to Being Mr. Boop. That's the ideal yeah, way to so absorb cool. it. Um, panel three, same shot, flabber shot. She's got her head in, uh, rested against her hands. Mm -hmm. In a, is this a is this is this a uh, Gendi pose? Gen, Gendi Gendi pose? What is Gendo, Gendo pose? Gendo. Is this a is this the I Gendo pose? Know. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'd argue not. This is like the panel one of being Mr. B uh, the panel one of Mr. Brute pose. You know what? No, it is not. My what? It is. It's the same. I reckon. I'm gonna look. Let me look at it. Definitely not. He's got his hands against his fists. She has her hands like in yeah. her fingers like intertwined. Hmm. And still. she is contained within the panel. <laughs> she's not leaning over it. But anyway, and she's got a little beaded necklace on, which we could see in panel one also. Um, I don't mm -hmm. know who it is. We probably saw the before. bracelet. Yeah, bracelet. Sorry, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's looking. She's like she's looking down and blissful. Now. Yeah, you know. ah. she got a little bit of a of a smirk. Remember in the, the what does your thought bubble say? She thinks to herself, "Well, it was funny, and was un is underlined." Panel four, same shot. She's doing like a mischievous Grinch thinking pose. 
uh, with her finger little... to her or to her sly grin mouth. She's looking. Uh, she's blushing a little bit. And she's looking over to the to the to the right. Um, as she's kind of thinking to herself slyly, and she's got two thought bubbles. The first one says Electries, and I saw some of the selfies he posted. Electries. And the other speech bubbles. The other thought bubble says Electries. Mm-hmm. He's honestly pretty cute. Electries. What the fuck? Uh, I mean. I won't say I I won't say I disagree. I won't say I <laughs> I mean I don't want I'm not gonna yeah. be rude. Actually this I am being a, rude yeah, if I just is... started eating. <laughs> I don't know why I just started eating during the podcast. This is yeah. I'm sorry. I guess he's so he's he's saying he's gonna be doing stuff about real life and now he's writing about this thing that he's got no no yeah, what the fuck? Of, Does this girl, person have girl to, on the who internet is this? I don't know. And then somewhat, I guess how he how he views the the readers of Mister Boo. This is uh, arguably worse than than anything he's done thus far because he he, <laughs> he had the whole elaborate story about being married to Betty Boop, which while a lie was completely self indulgent mm-hmm. and not you know, but now he's depicting one of the readers as someone who. Find the same cute and has a crush on him. This theoretically real person. This seems much worse to me than anything he has done thus far. I mean, but he's sim- similarly to Betty. I mean, unlike Betty Boop, this person may be made up. You know, I think that this isn't a real. But whether or not reader. she is real, she is at least meant to be a real mm-hmm. reader of. The comic, I suppose. I mean, yeah, so it's yeah, so in that way, it's, it's worse that. than just like saying this cartoon character, just because everyone says like, not everyone. Oh, I'm not gonna say. I mean, spot, I don't. You know. <laughs> but um, but you know, people people are like obsessed with uh, po- cartoon characters and pop culture characters, and like yeah. Uh, S- S- Stan the Onceler or whatever Tumblr sexy man of the month, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. And he, Ramil. What? Ramil. Um, one of the Evangelion angels. Came up in came up in one of the the last, I mean, I'd, the last what's it called guest strip episode. I was just, oh, I was just thinking fuck. about it. God damn it! <laughs> I just wanted to Google who this person is in the fucking autocomplete. God damn it! Okay. Uh, what? Nothing. I'm not gonna, gonna forget. I even saw anything. Okay. Mm, okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. <laughs> anyway, about the uh, interpreting weird stuff yes um you want to ask what I think what I how I interpret even go no okay um <laughs> no cuz there's obviously mean okay so we're t- you're talking about yeah, like this. meaning I mean you're talking about like movies and stuff you're talking about like when you talk about eraser head it's like um uh, so maybe with something like Kuso, I'm not gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna know if there's something else, some like actual point to it, or if it's just a bunch of weird stuff. Mm-hmm. Cause like, okay, fucking, what's that movie? Uh, Greasy Strangler. Is that? Do you know that movie, The Greasy Strangler? Nope. That's a weird ass movie. I haven't seen it, but yeah, The Greasy Strangler. Is there really a point to the weirdness of that movie? It's just like. It's just weird. Um, it's like it's like an know. Adult Swim oh, show. Yeah. Actually, he did make an Adult Swim show. He mm-hmm. made the Adult Swim show, show Tropical Cop Tales. Director of that did, or just oh, he directed one that's... episode. Sorry, he didn't create it. Or did he? He did. I, think I don't know. The f- the f- part of part of the fun of stuff like that is trying to find a meaning, whether or not it was intentional or not. Even if it has none, it's like, 
well, at least I've at least I've come with my own conclusion of this. But sometimes, you know, obviously. You can't. Well, I mean, I don't know what. I mean, if, I mean, there's black weird comedy horror. So. Uh. I was gonna say like, oh, so sorry, man. <laughs> but that obviously, that's not that's not even like that. That obviously is themes and shit. Like it's not just weirdness for the sake of weird. Like there's obviously themes in Swiss Army Man and everything everywhere all at once and that sort of stuff. Um, mm-hmm. um, so that's not really a good example. But I mean, that's a weird movie. What's 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 not what's so sorry, man? I haven't heard Swiss of Swiss Army Man. Oh, Swiss not so Army sorry, man. man. Okay. I was like, so that's sorry, Alec man. Robbins. <laughs> Yeah, that's him. That's that's what we should have with the, the last <laughs> Being moment, so sorry, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, so, I don't know, movies, you know. But something like this, which is just like, um, I mean, you can tell from the first strip, it's just like, there's no meaning behind the first strip of Mr. Boop. Mm. It's just like, this would be funny. Yeah. But it's still... It's still, like... About a man living out his fantasy in that first strip. Oh, he, he he's married to... See, Duke. I don't... You're, you're putting so much thought into it. it that's like... No, I mean, like... It, like, not, not in a deep way. Just, like, in a... Oh, yeah, that's... He's he's married to Betty Boop. What do you he's you know living? This is clearly everything he's ever wanted. I think, and that's his this family. is a good lead in. This is not what we're gonna have the next episode, but this feels like a good lead in to a bonus episode we're going to do. Being Mister Pre Boop, maybe that's what it's called. Mm-hmm. I will decide right right as we record it. Working title. Working title. Pre-boop. We're going to be looking at Alex Betty Boop tweets from. Before Mr. Boop started, mm-hmm. Mr. Boop like lost media. Yeah. Um. It, these are the these are the these are the John. Well, yes, then. exactly. Something Beans or Davis has not covered yet, and they still need to <laughs> get the fuck on that. <laughs> get on that. You need to start sending. You need to start sending them day, um, weekly emails recapping John. No, that's their job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do it for them. I'll say I can I can write the synopses for them if they want. Um, they do. When know. does U.S. Acres start? Well, whatever. Anyway, like '86. D- so what we're we're gonna cover the tweets, which is the John of Mr. Boop, and then I guess Mr. Group would be the U.S. Acres of Mr. Boop, wouldn't it? In a way, or Mr. Potato Head. I, I suppose so. Does Alec have another comic? He does, or before mm-hmm. this? No, I guess, uh... No, Crime Hot would be Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Group is U.S. Acres. You know Jim Davis so. had a comic called Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. It, 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 I, I don't so. think Alec has a comic before this, so there's no Norm Nat. <laughs> there's no, I mean, I guess you could <laughs> say one of his other projects, but... Well, anyway, we're gonna look at some of the early tweets. Uh, that um, that podcast he did about the Mario uh, Mario law is his norm net. That actually does look interesting. I want to check that out. I really want to watch it. I <laughs> looks great. But that's we're I not tried, gonna cover that kid, or anything because it doesn't matter. No, it's, <laughs> it it's doesn't matter in the slightest. <laughs> um, I am um, when I was a kid, I used to try and make Mario timelines with my friend, with my buddy. Oh, yeah, you were and, you. It was just like nostalgia. Every your whole life has led up to this podcast. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I was fucking, I was out here like, huh? There's that Mario game where he he appears to be in the Vietnam War. So, what is that one? Slot that in. That's a Mario bombs away. What? <laughs> it's a game and watch game where you play as a Mario. Holy hiding shit! Out in trees. How have I never <laughs> heard of this? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it needs to... Mario! <laughs> what the fuck? 
Why is Mario in a war? <laughs> like, it's literally, it's named Mario. It's not just a mustachioed man. Yeah, it's Mario. What is this away. from? He's, it's from the Game & Watch. When? Like, 1983, I guess. Yeah, 83. When, uh... Yeah, people also search for Mario the Juggler. Snoopy Tennis. That is... Uh, <laughs> You yeah, should play the, Snoopy those Tennis. Mario game, those Mario Game & Watch games are Oh, Mario the Juggler is also but, like a Game & Watch type game. Yeah. But it's not like a... Some more elaborate uh, artwork on it. It's interesting. Um, Have you, you're familiar with Donkey Kong Free? The, um... Where, where you play as Stanley? What? Yeah, Donkey Kong Free is an arcade game where you play as Stanley the... What's his name? What the I, fuck? I Where are you getting these? How have I not way. heard of these? I know all these <laughs> like obscure, obscure ass like Mario games and shit. But how do I don't even know? I've never heard of I Donkey went, Kong Three. I've never I heard went, of Mario Bombs Away. I hear, I know about I these kid, sort of things usually. When I was a kid, I was just like, oh man, I gotta make that Mario timeline. So I just like went to list of every Mario game and I just read up like a lot of them. <laughs> it's like, oh, bum Mario bombs away? Oh, Vietnam Who's influence. Stanley? He's not in Don't any other... <laughs> no, he disappeared. They should have put him in one of the minis trophy. on the movie games. He's a he's a trophy in one of the melee. In, in, in melee. Really? One of the melee, yeah. Oh. Uh, Donkey Kong Stanley trophy. Oh my god. 3D render of Stanley. He's hideous. <laughs> There's also a, a little 2D render of him in... I don't know what this is. Maybe this is from the box art of something. Wait, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze? No way. In Dr on Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, his greenhouse and blood sugar pellet appear as cameos in the background of the stages. They gotta bring him back. Yeah, bring back. They Stanley. brought back Pauline. Oh, 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 oh! Well, affiliations, you, Pauline you Crush. You know the um. Okay, you know he's the, related the Mario to Mario. Bros. Movie. You know the Mario Bros. movie, right? The new one, the Illumination one. Yes, and that right. has their the pit crew boss in it, right? Not pit crew. Or wrecking crew. Wrecking what did I say? If it was pit crew. Yeah, he said. You said no. Pit I know crew. what's pit like, crew. I'm voicing. <laughs> pit crew is like. Um, you know Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine? Yeah? Like that. No, it's not like that. No, Picker is the fucking character creation site. Like the dress up no, not site. No, not Pick like. Crew. Pit Crew. Pit Crew? Yeah. <laughs> that's nothing. Okay. I think you that's a that racing up. thing. Maybe. I don't know. But no, like, yeah, fucking. It's so. Because I keep hearing people be like, oh, he's playing Spike, that little green guy. I'm like, no, no. no. He's not the. He's describing Wrecking Crew Man, which is like such a weird deep cut. Like, what the fuck? If Spike's in this, I'm kind of expecting them to bring back um, Stan. It's just gonna go fucking full on <laughs> Rescue Rangers. <laughs> it's gonna be an adaptation of Mario's Bombs Away. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Chris Pratt Mario in the Vietnam War. Why are we talking about this on the Char Mr. Charlie Boop finale? Charlie, <laughs> Charlie Day Luigi is like, ah! Oh, I've been hit by you! Ah! <laughs> uh, okay. Well, um, uh, I don't think we have anything else to say. There's oh, another. There's other pages of this that, of this another, strip. There's, there's three other pages. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so page two. One one big panel, all black with white written text on it that says end of book three and on the top Ooh. there's uh, the logo is all blacked out it says mr mr mm. boop it's not colored in with watercolors it's all blacked out um same for the next page but instead the white text in the black square says but not the end of mr boop not is underlined mm. uh and then one more panel or one more page in the in, in the panel it says see you in book four that's great well see you in book four and see you 
in the next bonus video we talk about Mr. Preboop. Uh, yeah. You've been listening to Being Mr. Boop also, by the way. <laughs> Oops. All boops. You can visit the show's website at www.beingmrboop.com for our full catalog of episodes and to sign up to host the podcast. If you want, we have a little, we have a few more slots left. It might be full now, maybe. I don't know. Just like one or two more slots available. For more updates, follow at Mr. Boop Pod on Twitter. Uh, I'm at Kamimoto6 on Twitter and at Semi Sweet Subs for everything else I make. Lisa? What? Oh, you can find me anywhere, basically. Look at my YouTube channel if you like music by other people. Elf if you like reposts. <laughs> I'm just hey, man, kidding. I put, I'm, I, put a lot of kidding. I put a lot of time into compiling those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 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 do this, I, do, I do similar uploads on my edits channel, so I'm, I'm not criticizing. Uh, I'm teasing. Thank you and good night. Yes. Hut. This podcast was brought to you by the Pitch Drop Podcast Network. Like what you just heard? Support the show by going to patreon.com forward slash pitch drop. And while you're at it, check out pitchdrop.net for more of this and other shows.